my full thoughts on World of Warcraft Shadowlands. Okay. Hey there, guys. My name is Nixium, the stud muffin death knight, lady seducing okay. sex titan himself. Ooh! Uh, and a little while ago, yeah. I made a video talking about yeah, what true. I thought of BlizzCon 2019. Now, in this video, I detailed some of my thoughts regarding the convention as a whole. I addressed each and every announcement from Blizzard and shared my quick opinions on them. And well, what happened is some people seem to have gotten the wrong impression from me in regard to what I thought about the new World of Warcraft expansion. Okay. Well, in this video, what I want to do is Don't I want to settle any confusions or concerns or whatever. It. And so, yeah, let's let's talk about World of Warcraft Shadowlands. Let's dive into this beast I, and I, I can I share really... with you guys my full expanded edition thoughts thoughts. This is so stupid, yeah. man. Now, first and foremost, let's talk about the beginning. <clears throat> like quite literally the very beginning as in what happens okay. when you make a new character in this expansion right now for years i have been talking about how i feel that the level cap in wow has gotten way too high yeah i've made so many videos about it's that like a subject, entry. and the responses that you all had to those videos was awesome to say the least yeah. Now for us veteran players, 120 might not be such a big deal, but for some little nooblet who is stepping into the game for the first time, seeing such yeah. a high level cap, it might deter them from committing to the game fully. They'll think that it's just going to take too much time to get to cap, and they're going to be, you know, too far behind everybody else. They're not going to commit. Hey, a brand new player is not going to understand the game at all. Don't forget that. They don't understand how long it takes to level. They don't know. So no. I've been a big advocate for a level squish for quite some time. I consider that a huge the level positive cap too. Back to level 60, yeah. which I was surprised Blizzard did not do in Battle for Azeroth if they were going to do it, as halving the level cap in that expansion would have been the perfect time. A zone right yeah, now that's a that. level 20 area, that would just become a level 10 zone. You yeah. get talent points more often, spells more often, and Turning so everything on. Half you just be a lot get cleaner. something pretty much every time you level up, and that would be great. That was the theory. And here on this channel, we've even bitched and moaned before about the idea of end game progression while leveling up new characters or yep. as a new player entirely. And Shadowlands, you guessed it, is bringing all of this to the game. So let me just say, as you might conclude on your own accord, I'm personally very excited for all of this. Now, I highly doubt that Blizzard took direct inspiration from my videos and all the comments that you guys have been leaving here on the channel. But if they did, if you did Blizzard, cool. I think that would show just how much influence we as a community have over the future of the game. So guys, Keep I hope so. Videos. Yeah, that'd keep be fucking great. Ideas on your streams and keep leaving comments. The I think it does matter. Like unironically, I think that what players are saying to 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 Blizzard and everything, it absolutely does fucking matter. A hundred percent, it fucking matters. Devs could always be listening, and I love you guys for it. Yeah, but Blizzard took it a step further with a new area called Exiles Reach. This is a new starting zone in the game that will take you from level one to level ten. Now, after you complete it and you've learned how the game works, you then get to choose any time period of WoW you want to level to 50 in. This is a much better experience. To Shadowlands, I, I which totally will take agree with you this. to level 60 with its content. This is much you better. You want to level from 10 to 50 oh, in Wrath geez. of the Lich King? Do it. Do it. Pandaria? There it is. You got it. Don't do Battle that. Battle for Azeroth? Do not do that. Covered there too, buddy. Now this is, in my opinion, level one of my 10, favorite level 10 features about weapon. this expansion. It level is 10 not Ash too Bringer. crazy or flashy, but for those of us who are veteran players that have leveled through Outland a million times in the Cataclysm zones, and oh, yep. th this choice system is a freaking godsend. It probably won't mean all that much to me. I feel like for me, like it won't matter a whole lot because I'm just going to do the exact same shit that I always did. I will go to whichever one is most efficient and I will do that until I hate the game. New players that will try out the game after Shadowlands yeah. release. But for us, it's going to be pretty damn cool, I think. And hey, as an honorable mention, who doesn't love the idea of greater character customization? I mean, come on. I don't need to say anything really about that because we're all hyped for it. I'm hyped for it. You're hyped for it. You know you are. Uh, yeah, I want yeah, more very tattoos, hyped. Though I want tattoos on my human. Extremely hyped. That would be really nice. Thank you. But let's talk about the Shadowlands themselves, the new zones and the new systems that come with it, guys. First of all, I think some of these new Covenant zones look great. Now others are 
okay-ish, in my opinion. Uh, b- but that's just my personal preference, and I ain't going to bore you with my artistic critiques, so we ain't going to do that. But what I do want to talk about, however, are the covenants themselves that you can join. So first and foremost, one of the biggest things about the covenant system that I love is the replayability factor of it all. When you choose a covenant, that is your covenant. That's your team, man. And if you want to change it, well, we don't have all the details yet, but it's going to be a pain in the ass, basically, ass to do so. Hey, so you're most great minds think alike. With your team until the expansions end. Now, these covenants also all have unique powers that they will offer to you, the player. One that's a general power yep. and another that is class specific. And they all have unique storylines and campaigns yeah, that you yeah, get to play yeah. through throughout yeah. the expansion's narrative. The point is, your experience playing in one covenant is going to be vastly different from playing in another. And uh, to me, we'll, well see. that's probably yeah, we'll this see about that. system's greatest strength, the replayability. Another thing that you get to do is you also get to soul bind your character at max level to a specific powerful NPC that lives within your covenant. And what it does is that unlocks a whole new talent tree for you to explore, making your character more powerful as you progress through it. Mm -hmm. Now this system's cool and I like it and I like all the choices yeah, that yeah, were being yeah. offered as a player. Yeah, yeah, Although yeah. I will say that these little soul binded talent trees do appear a bit limited and straightforward right now, but we could see more added to them in the future. We'll see. We'll check it out. And then there is Torghost, the Tower of the Damned, whose name I'm not sure I'm pronouncing correctly, but it's a Diablo-esque no inspired dungeon that you can either play solo or you can play with a group of up to four other players. Now this dungeon ain't like a regular dungeon where you follow some stupid linear path, you kill some bosses and that's it. We'll nah, see. This we'll see about that. I mean, that's what they said about island expeditions and they turned out to be scripted as fuck. So I will wait until Blizzard actually releases this and it becomes a thing before I expect this to actually happen. Like, yes, of course, it sounds like Torghast is going to be really cool. But whenever the beta comes out and alpha comes out for this game, I'm going to roast the shit out of it if there's anything that I don't like. Because I didn't do that in BFA and look where we are now. This is a dungeon that's going to mix things up on your ass. Sometimes you go into it and you're facing one type of mobs. You're encountering these types of traps and going down this particular route. But another time you go in, you're going to be facing entirely new mobs, new traps, and following a completely different path. The point is, the dungeon is meant to be super replayable. And as you scale higher and higher into the tower, it becomes more and more challenging. Now, this is something I really can't form my full opinions on is I need to play test it first. I got to get my hands on it. But in theory, it sounds really interesting and is one of Shadowlands yeah. highlights in theory, for me. I agree one with of the that. things I'm most excited for. We'll see for. what the practice is, though. You can probably though. see a recurring theme here. Replayability, replayability. This is good. I like this. But yeah. we also need to talk about legendaries because Blizzard is handling them completely different in this expansion. You see... In Legion, there was this horrible system of how legendaries yes. would just randomly drop here See and you there, got giving you, the player, some random-ass boost to your power. See, you guys that, that just came in for Classic, like, you guys weren't there for this bullshit. But what used to happen is that in Legion, you would kill anything in the fucking game, and it could give you a literal legendary that would make you, like, it was the best in slot item in the game. It, it was straight-up fucking ARPG bullshit. In WoW. It, it was the worst thing ever. Hour. I still Some can't believe they did that. I really good. can't. Some sucked, but Blizzard learned, and now in this expansion, we are getting an entirely new way mm -hmm. of getting these bad boys. And how do we do it? Get ready for a little bit of classic inspiration, my friends, because we we're gonna forge them. That's right. Now, you're not necessarily always going to go to a blacksmith to forge your legendary or whatever, but professions do come into play. No matter what profession you have, you will be able to craft these base pieces of a legendary, combine yep. them, and then forge yourself your very own sword, I'm staff, not sure how piece this of is armor, go. or whatever Blizzard has in mind. 
or the while you're adventuring last out yeah, exactly. in the Shadowlands, you're going to find trinkets, items, and other little doodad things that can be turned into legendary gear Look at, at phase a special two. It's gonna be forge great. where Frostmourne and the Helm of Domination were crafted. So all in all, you're going to have complete control over what legendary you make using what pieces you find. Choose the stats, choose the cool powers it can offer you. Mm -hmm. This is a much more interesting system than Legion's and BFA's uh, legendary system. We'll see. I at hope least so, though. in my opinion. I, I like the legendary and system in BFA. Artifact system very system near BFA. and dear to my heart. In my opinion, it is one of the most beloved things coming out with this expansion. And that's more class identity. Blizzard has clearly I thought learned was gonna make a lot a joke. from Classic WoW's release. Yeah, I agree. How many people are playing it and just how much hype it still has behind it. And so it's no wonder that Classic WoW is affecting the next expansion amazingly. To really sell that fantasy of playing your class, Blizzard is bringing back so many of the old class-defining abilities that were lost over the years in World of Warcraft. Remember your totems as a shaman? They're coming back. Paladin auras, yep. rogue poisons, warlock curses, a whole lot more. Remember Death Coil, Ursal's Vortex, Consecration, Frost Shock, great. Raise Dead. It was all amazing. That other stuff. Yeah, how about that? Retail They're saved. Back too, man. Retail and yeah, saved. Even Ritual of Doom. Here's the thing, guys. I still stand by what I said in the last video where I mentioned that this expansion really doesn't have a whoa, oh my god factor when it comes to the Shadowlands. There's no that's new class true, to change honestly. things up. It is. There's no new crazy system that's going to change the way we play the game or whatever. But what we are getting is what we know works. Blizzard seems to be focused first and foremost with introducing new players to the game in fun and exciting ways. That's yeah. good. We need the population to grow and we need new players for that. They're introducing more character customization. They're determined to create a it's lot nice. of replayability with the Covenant system. They are making legendaries fun and interesting again, and they are bringing back class identity with adding many forgotten spells back into the game. And do you know what all of this has in They're giving us back everything that they took away, so let's all stand around and celebrate how great Blizzard is for giving us the things that we never wanted to lose, but they took away anyway for an arbitrary period of four or five years that they are now returning to add back in as content to regain the favor of the player base. woo -hoo! That's great. I mean, listen, guys, obviously it's not ideal that they're doing it like that, but fuck it. If that's what they're going to do, I'm fine with it. I mean, the player base is going to love it. Yeah. It's what is tried, true, and tested, and we're getting it all in the Shadowlands. To someone who's going to try WoW for the first time during this expansion, craftable legendaries won't mean that much, nor will being able to choose what expansion you want to level in. But to us, the veteran players, this stuff is really going to make Shadowlands feel like a smooth, well-polished, and fun expansion. So what's my final conclusion regarding this expansion? Honestly, I still was hoping for a little bit more, but what yeah. we've gotten I'm quite content with, and I will happily enjoy checking out upon release. I'm happy about them improving on the fundamentals of the game, and that's something that I feel like Blizzard did not do in Legion, really. It didn't, they didn't do a lot in BFA, is they didn't change or improve the fundamentals. All they did was improve the like secondary and like all these other systems. So them coming back in Shadowlands and actually making the core gameplay better, I think is the most important thing. That is my conclusion. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this expression of my thoughts on Shadowlands. And if you did, yeah. give the video a like. And if you want, sub as well and hit the bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. So far, this past month has been amazing. From releasing a new Machinima video, a new True Story of episode for yeah. Halloween, some new countdown videos, and getting to cover BlizzCon and all that's this content, cool stuff boys. that's coming out down the road. It's been great. And we're just getting started, man. Like, oh, I got some ideas. You're gonna okay, see. Dude. So thank you guys for supporting okay, the channel. Dude. And I will see you next week with more videos. No. And if you're a fan of Elder Scrolls Online, I, I am gonna be making more ESO content. Don't worry, it's coming. We're gonna show you guys some love. Just, just stay tuned.
Thanks. That's great. I can't wait for that. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, ESO. Uh, that, that's, th this right here is what the, uh, uh, what Game of Thrones ending should have been right there. Uh, yeah, I, I, overall, like, I mean, I feel like, yeah, the, the, I, I'm excited for the expansion. I feel like kind of the same as Nixium. Like, a lot of the things they announced are, like, really cool, but after Island Expeditions, I don't really, I, I, I don't really have, like, a maximum amount of confidence in Torghast, right? I, I think it's cool. But it's nothing that I'm going to be like, oh my god, wow, I can't wait for, uh, you know, for, for me to have the opportunity to do this, you know what I mean?